so positive vibes Lies for fun, so go with your head Let the sun light in, brighten up your day What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Positive Vibes. I almost said motherfucking like it was, why would you do that? You've done that before. Have I? Yeah, you, you've done that in the past. Welcome to another episode of Positive Vibes, you guys. I'm your host, Not Slim One. As with me always, except for last, last week, week, is the yes. Iceman. Welcome yep. back to the show, bud. How you doing? Doing pretty good. How about you, bud? A little tired. Uh, the schedule of yours is really screwing up our schedule, isn't it? Yeah, shit's been really yeah, fucking dick right. lately it's uh, temporary. with the schedules. temporary. Say the date commonly on the show. I like to keep up to the minute with the movies. So it's Monday night at around fucking quarter after eight right now. Yeah. I gotta fuck off to work in like less than an hour. And uh, this movie's for Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. That's so right. we're fucking like literally shooting it at the last Wednesday. minute. What's today's the uh, today's second? Monday night. So Wednesday will be the second. Right. Yeah. Good. Remember that for the end of the show. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> That's why I thought of it. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, fuck, man. I don't know. We're shooting an episode of PV, but I'm trying to bid some time to think of a topic, and I can't. Yeah. So I guess I got this fucking weed here then that I'm smoking this week. Those fucking perks have been driving me up a fucking wall. They've been making me so fucking tired at work. I hate it. I yeah, I bet. That's gotta not be, do it. That's got to be killer working on a night shift, having to take those. The job is really easy, but it involves a lot of sitting, and it's a lot of sitting that kind of like it's it's in the same position. If it was a lot of standing or if it was a lot of sitting, it's still the same effect. It's yeah. just the nerve just kind of gets pinched, and then it's, it's bullshit. I'll tell you one thing, though. I've been fucking sleeping good. I've been <laughs> sleeping real good, man. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. The weather turned on us here, eh? It was cold through the week. And oh, it was it beautiful. Got, I loved it. But it was really cold, though, in comparison uh, to the rest of the summer. I mean, if you want to call it cold, I guess, but... Like, compared, I didn't have to have my air conditioner on at yeah, night. Oh, yeah, no windows wide open all night long. Yeah, I was shivering when I woke up in the morning, but I love that. That was perfect. But then, just this weekend, it starts to warm up a bit, and today, humidity, back again. Yeah, well, it's like only that. the end of August, man, yeah. so we still got a couple more weeks of nice weather. Well, hopefully it lasts a little bit longer than a couple more weeks. I really wanted to do the hot car challenge, but I think I might have <laughs> thought of that idea a little bit too uh, late. I don't think it's... we're going to get another really, like, we're not going to get a 100-degree day, and it's going to be tolerable in the car. Yeah, well, today to today like would have been that hot. day. Yeah? Yeah. I sleep all day for yeah. work, so I never know what the weather's like. And it also makes a big difference whether the sun's out or not, whether it's 100 degrees with the sun out and 100 degrees without the sun out. If the sun's out, it's going to get a lot hotter. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to do it on a cool, cloudy day well, in September. Yeah, no, I'm saying if it's 100 degrees out and overcast and it's 100 degrees out and sunny, it's the same thing. But when you're in a car in the sun, it's a lot freaking hotter than it is. It's not cool out. It's still 100 degrees out like today was. We only had a little bit of sunshine. I want to do that challenge. <sighs> that fucking one guy you sent me the link of. Oh my god, that killed me. He was like, kids are pussies and shit. Kids and dogs are pussies. Yeah, he's... <laughs> <laughs> How long did he last? Like three and a half hours? <coughs> oh my god. I think he just squirted himself with water. and. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I guess cut, that is... He kept cutting yeah. shots and shit. That's true. Oh, that That's was horrible. Funny. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> that was stupid. Kids and dogs are pussies. Dude, we make the internet videos. Yeah, we, we make do. make internet videos. We're making one right now. So people that might not know, you and I have already talked about it. I got the fucking truck back. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to have it back, man. That fucking Jeep Patriot was not my cup of tea. Looks good, too. Oh, it looks great. Yeah, they yeah did a it great looks job. really, really good. They couldn't have done really a better <laughs> job. Now we just got to hope you don't run into any more poles. Uh, I hate that man. No accident forgiveness. No <laughs> yeah, fucking, that really no sucks. No coverage, man. I'm fucking dick. Yeah. Sucks. And you want to put a rampage on the road? You want to buy a fucking rampage? There's a bunch of rampages all Ram over the rampages. place. Rampages. I want to fucking get one. There's one three hours away in Hamilton for seven fifty. It's an eighty two. Yeah. And then there's another one, and I think it's an eighty three, but I'm not sure. And the guy wants a thousand bucks for it, but it's somewhere in Ontario, but I've never heard of the place. So I want to look on a map and see, but it's probably pretty far. 
Yeah. I don't have any money anyway. I want to buy these fucking cars and put them on the road and drive them because I love Dodge Rampage. Uh, and the Iceman, I'm telling him this tonight, and he's like, if you fucking don't buy a camera first <laughs> and buy a car first, I'm going to fucking slap you and shit. And I'm like, what? That's fucking right. It's <laughs> crazy. I mean, he's got, he's got one Rampage out in the carport there that's not on the road just sitting there but now he wants to buy one that is road worthy you know what if i had a road worthy one i would still keep that okay, one. okay but what would you do with the road worthy one you're not going to be able to afford the insurance on the truck now i'll just fucking i'll i don't know i would figure <laughs> it the fuck out man oh yeah how much, like, uh, other than that thing where I got into well, the accidents and stuff, my insurance is going to be r- ridiculous now, how much uh, How much do you think it would be to insure a rampage? I don't know. Fucking but 33-year-old fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, honestly, I don't know how that would work for that because it, it would almost be considered a classic, I'd imagine, now. 33 years old yeah I don't know. I um, but I was even thinking if you took the truck off and put the rampage on and left the truck in the carport and let it sit for a while because that insurance has got to be a lot cheaper than the uh, truck insurance yeah but you don't want to let your truck sit <laughs> that's true yeah. that's true especially when I'm, it's financed and I have to fucking pay for it every yeah month that's right I'm not driving it and you'd walk by it every day. That would kill you. I love the rampage, man. I really <laughs> want to fucking drive it. So I don't understand your love bad. for that thing. I mean, look at that fucking thing. It's awesome, dude. It's that and, and awesome. any and any of the other vehicles that look similar to it from the other companies. I just never like that look. What about like those old fucking fifties and sixties Ford Rancheros? It's no, the same no, ship. I didn't the like big that. Fins and everything yeah, on the back. No. You're dumb. I didn't know. I didn't <laughs> like it. They're dumb. <laughs> yeah. No, I like real cars, buddy. Fucking Chargers. That's a real car. No, that's a fucking... Rampage. <laughs> <laughs> little fucking K car. That's all it is. A little fucking K car. No, it's Yes. Not. Dude. Yes, it is. It's more like an Omni. It's a stretched out Omni. That's what it is. It's an L body. Is the oh, is it really? Yeah. I thought it was a K frame. No, it's got the K frame, doesn't it? Yours. Yeah, doesn't but that's different things. Oh, okay. That's different things. Fuck. I just don't like them. Well, to each his own. For my whole life, I used to thought that it was each is own. To each his own. <laughs> <laughs> I say that's my good. whole life, and now really? it's just like oh, to to each his own. And sometimes I was still like typing it. I'll skip the H to each is one. I used to think it was six of one and a dozen of the other. And I'm always like, why does anybody even say that? That makes no fucking sense. And it's six of one and half dozen of the other. <laughs> 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 Which makes sense. Ice. We've only been going for eight minutes and I smoked all the weed. Holy shit. We didn't have very much. I know. What's up with that? Well, What's up with that? It costs money. Ugh, fuck, don't even get me started on money. Positive Yeah, vibes. me either. What's been going on with you, man? What's been up? Get share something personal. Uh, you share that fucking weird introverted fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love your you fucking... You share that weird asshole. introverted fucking <laughs> thing on Facebook the other day. And I thought that was really stupid and fucking accurate. That's what made it funny. Yep. So I <laughs> shared, exactly. shared that portal picture of the guy sucking his own dick. So now you want me to talk about stuff? Yeah, what's up with you, man? What's been going on? Give us an update on your real life. Uh, here's an update that you don't have to give. We haven't done anything to get a hold of Simcoe Health yet. No, we haven't. You said you were going to. Uh, yeah. I, I never really committed to saying that I was going to do such, but you did. I did say yeah. it. I haven't called. No. It's only making a phone call, but I feel like I have been a little bit busy. Word. No excuse. It's making a phone call. You could do that from work. But uh, tell us something about you. Something about me. I really don't know what to tell you, buddy. What's I work. Oh, well, you What's know. What's recent thing? I'm getting you a raise. You doing some stuff. Nice. I'm getting a raise, yeah. That's awesome. I uh, went and talked to the boss and said, you know what? I think it's time I deserve. I mean, it's only been four years, so I think it's about time I deserve something, right? Is this your first raise at the job in four years? Uh, In the last four years, yeah. Oh, how long have you been doing it? 
Well, I've been doing this for this company for 16 years. But they moved the building. They well, they didn't Did move they the building. They stayed the same they, name, but they moved the building. They they changed. Well, we're we're in a warehouse now. Yeah. But the store is still in the same spot. But it's two different stores there now. We're we're only half that place. It used to be the warehouse at the store. Yeah, we used oh, to have okay. the warehouse there too. But yeah, so now I just work at the uh, old car dealership in the back there, which they turned back into another used car dealership, by the way. And they're doing pretty good there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Essex Motors. They're doing pretty good. Hmm. Essex. What a funny name. Yeah, I know, eh? But, uh, yeah, so I'm getting a raise. Should be on my next check. Sorry, I don't know why I always do that. The fucking <laughs> microphone's going to pick that up. <laughs> but, yeah, no. And uh, that's cool. I'm pretty that's happy really about that. cool, yeah. man. What about the, uh, you were doing some stuff with your dad? Uh, we were building some cabinets for my house. How'd that, how'd that go? Still going. Still yeah. going. Well, with the cabinets are up. I just got to paint the front face plates, and my dad's got to cut the doors and get them set up so we can hang them. So just cabinet hanging. That's it. What else? Oh, is going on you're this? talking about. Uh, okay. You're talking about being a mini hoarder or whatever here. You should see my fucking house right now, buddy. Trash Ola. You should see my fuck. I'm gonna send you some pictures tonight. It's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll put them in this thing. I'll put them at the end. Yeah, yeah man, I was saying before we turned the cameras on that uh, I used to hoard a lot of shit. Like, yeah. I've talked about it in the past, but I don't have a lot of pictures of it. But I had a whole fucking, like, I had, like, two rooms full of shit stacked. Yeah. Remember? And oh, I yeah, no, yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm pretty, like, pretty good at getting rid of most you have, of this the place. This place is fucking out. a lot. Yeah. However, now I've replaced all the clutter with, like, trash. Yeah. It's just plastic bottles. Very untidy person. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. It's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know it what is it is. Fun. I don't know what it is. I don't understand why I don't make the decision to do something about that. But, but for me, fine. it's I'm, I'm digging everything out right now and trying to take pictures and sell shit on Facebook, which is not a fun experience. No? No, it's not. And you know what? I think now is a good time for us to start. Let's get in ourselves. Let's get ourselves into some ice <laughs> advice. Stump the Take it away, away, Iceman. Well, I want to talk about. Uh, this is going to be more of a rant tonight, not really advice. I don't know. There may be Make some sure advice. Make sure there's a, pr- a point. We'll, a point. Well, the, the the point is, people are idiots. Okay, let's. People are cheap idiots. Uh, now I can understand. You know, you want to get the best deal possible, but you put a price on something. And people come in and, well, first they, they agree, okay, yeah, I'd like to come pick that up. Uh, then they're like, uh, about a few hours later, they send you a message, what's your lowest price? Why am I going to tell this person my lowest price? In, in what way is that going to benefit me? Like, these people are stupid. So I send a message back saying, well, why don't you send me an offer and I'll let you know if that's my lowest price. And she went like $40 less than what I was asking. I wanted $50. She asked, will you take 10 yeah, exactly. And what this was is the, the kind thing? of uh, tables. These two swan tables with uh, mirrored tops. They're kind of ugly, actually. I don't like them, but somebody's going to like them. And obviously she did. But, uh, but you know, she agreed at first she's going to pay the 50 bucks, and all of a sudden she comes back and says, well, will you take $10 for that? Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah, the people are pretty fucking cheap. Oh, my I God. I don't like, like to play that fucking game. No, me either. It's ridic- I mean, I would almost rather take the stuff to the local charity than, than let somebody cheat me out like that. If you if you have something for sale and you know that you're going to bend at the price and you have an open offer... You always start with a higher with a higher price. But like be reasonable. When people are selling things, I will always approach them and say, okay, will you take this lower price? Because I'm not going to pay the top price. That's right. And then if they don't break, I usually don't haggle. Yeah, just walk away. Yeah, I don't fuck around. It's like, this is how much I see the value in this. Unless you're going to give it to me at this value or lower. I don't like that. But do you go in with a with a insult price? Sometimes just to test the water. Really? Do you really? Real. Well, I this, hate doing it. <laughs> sometimes. Well, this one was adamant though. She was not going to pay any more low, than ten dollars. I went in low with the golf cart because of the batteries and shit before the gathering there. But looking back on that, like the money that he, he asked for, it was yeah. He was he was being a little. He wanted five hundred. Yeah, it was worth it. I don't think it Even was. though it needed batteries, it was totally worth 500 because I haven't seen a deal like that since. Yeah. 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 
I uh, I missed it there. I was I would have been in a bad spot to pick it up then, but I, I did, don't think I did it was a good one to then. pick up. I think you'll you'll find something nicer. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do something a little bit bigger next year. Better deal. I just gotta ride out this fucking insurance thing on the truck, the money that I did deductible, and also. I don't know what my fucking insurance is going to be next year, man. I'm fucking sweating it every day. For the, I just got the truck back, and I'm thinking about insurance and everything. Fuck, I don't want to yeah, no re-up kidding. my policy next year, <laughs> man. I'm scared of it. You know, well, it might even go up. I don't know if they'll raise it before that. But uh, wait a minute. Did we finish ice? No, ice? I guess we didn't really. I just so ranted a little bit. Yeah. Don't be a fucking cheapskate. Yeah, skate. don't be a fucking cheapskate. Fucking have a little bit of respect. I mean, if, if you if you actually want the item, you know what I think she honestly was doing? Was was probably trying to buy it cheap so that she could resell it, which some people do. And I understand that. If you can get a cheap deal, if somebody's selling something cheap that you can resell, go right ahead and do it. But don't try and jip somebody off just to get a friggin' whatever. That that's just pissing me off. <laughs> I'm getting all fired up. You can up see about the it. veins in your yep. head are getting fucking huge right now. You must be. It's pissed. just it's just a headache trying to sell this shit. That's yeah. all. <laughs> that's what it is. So yeah, either that or you know what? Did if, you put if it on Kijiji? Uh, no, I haven't tried. Kijiji can be just as bad. I thought Facebook would be a lot easier because it's always people. Do you know that Windsor buy and sell group on Facebook? Yeah. Have you ever been a part of that? Uh, oh, I'm a part of a whole bunch of them. The one I tried just last night was the crap we crap I want to sell or something like that. There's one that is called Windsor Buy and Sell, and it's a uh, fucking like I don't participate in it, but I made a comment to ask a question about what they were, and they deleted my comment. They they open the bid and then you comment with the bid and then you bid and then really yeah yeah and then at the end they like put a stop on the thing and. They say this person won. Contact us within this amount of time. If you don't, you've won. If you don't hit us up, you'll be banned from the group. Pick up your shit. Really? Yeah, it's fucking like they got Holy a lot crap. of crazy rules. But maybe you should check maybe it out. Maybe I should try that. I'll one, give yeah. you the link to it after the show. And uh, that's what's up with a that. More sweet, because this, yeah, the one that I'm using is pretty wide open. That which is why I used it because I didn't want any rules for myself to have to follow. I just wanted to throw these fucking pictures up there and try and sell the shit. Well, you should definitely uh, consider that Windsor buying sells. You know, fucking do something for you, I think. Yeah. I'll try that one. There we go. Ice advice. Try Windsor buy and sell. <laughs> <laughs> nice advice, Ice. <laughs> That's good. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, fuck, dude. We're almost running 20 minutes deep and I gotta get ready for work and all of that and it's been kind of just a slow-paced week around here, you know what I mean? Like, uh, well, just I'm your week's riding kind out of the just rest of my, I'm riding out the rest of it right yeah. now. Well, you had Friday night off, right? Yeah, you had Friday off. Yeah, yeah. I had from 10 p.m. until 10 p.m. Yeah. off. It's been fucked, man. Just a lot of fucking going to work all the time, interrupting my schedule. These last four midnight shifts, and then I'm back on the three-day weekends and regular schedule, so only... And then, and then, after these four tonight and for the rest of the week, and then on Friday or Saturday, the Iceman has dedicated nothing but his <laughs> sweat and tools and time Probably and some skill blood. Probably and some hands. Blood. We're going to fucking tear down the living room and finally do what we said about moving positive vibes out into the living room. We because will at least get things moved around. We're going to... The, the next... TV's the next couple the of episodes will still probably be in here. Maybe. Maybe the next one. Uh, as long as we do it this week. Yeah, if I guess we do it, it this weekend, yeah. then the next show will be out there. Yeah. If we don't Which do we it, should then be. the next, the next show, show should No, the next... Well, yeah, if we don't do it. But I can see us doing it. Yeah, we're going to do it on Friday. It's Friday. really not a lot of work. I mean, fuck, no, we're taking not, we just out gotta desk, take really a couple what of it chairs. Is, is we just got to take a couple of TVs off the walls yep. and move all that shit. Well, and it's a bunch of a horde that I'll be able to break down. Yeah, that's right. Big time fucking... So it's just bringing the sofa chair and TV and TV stands in here. I saw two perfect chairs in the fucking trash, and I didn't stop and pick them up. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, I was like, fuck, fuck, I'm stupid, man. Damn it. But they were like a fabric, so it's like, uh, I was kind of reluctant to stop just in case. Yeah. They were fucked. 
So I, ca- I might have fucked up. I might have fucked up. Who knows? More will come along. But we, yeah. we're also looking to try for a couch now. Yeah, yeah. I think if we have, like, two guests, it should be two chairs. And then if we have more than two guests, it should be the couch. Okay. If we just put the couch up against the wall out of the, out of the frame yeah. or something like that. Right? I think that'll work. I fucking hope that it does, bud, because I'm really excited to get the fucking show out there. It's going to be really cool to me <laughs> to have just a big studio house, yeah. studio trailer. Welcome to Studio Muff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, anyway, that's it. Awesome. I think we should end the show here, uh, and that's it. So, right? I think so, yeah. Okay, well then. I think we're good. Thank you very much, you guys, for watching this episode of Positive Vibes. I am your host, Not Slim One, and as always with me is my co-host, The Iceman. Love you, bud. Love you, bud. And that's it. So stay tuned for another episode of Positive Vibes next Wednesday around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we'll see you then. All right? So. Thanks. Yeah, and peace. peace.